In this video, I'm going to tell you how to save time grading papers. If you're interested, teachers, keep watching. Welcome to the Teacher's Playbook, a channel made for teachers by a teacher. My name is Melanie Howell, and I've been a classroom teacher for more than 20 years. If you haven't already, I hope you'll subscribe so you don't miss any future videos. I'd like to start by saying this video is not sponsored. It's my own personal opinion based on my experience in my classroom, but the answer to the question, how do you save time grading papers, is Socrative.com. It is a fantastic website and it has shaved hours off of my work week. I was that teacher who brought home piles of papers, my teacher bag, lugging back and forth to the car, even on weekends, was always so heavy. But Socrative has helped me get away from all of those papers. What is Socrative.com? It's a fantastic website that allows you to create your own formative assessments. I will say that for Summative assessments where students are required to write responses, I'm still having them write responses. But just in terms of formative assessment, no more grading a paper exit ticket. No more quick 10 question midweek quizzes or whatever it was I used to do and whatever it is you may be doing for those quick checks, let Socrative grade it for you. You begin the process by creating a class in Socrative. You can do this um, for free, but I will say that the mid-range plan is the one I purchase every year. And I gotta say, it's the best $60 I spend on education, my classroom, for myself every year because it does save me so much time. Once you create an account, you create a class or multiple classes. With the mid-range plan, you can create, I think, up to 10 classes. And then, uh, once you've created your class, each child will get a special password, a login. Of course, you'll have access to all that information. Then you're ready to create your assessments. I will say that there is a quiz bank there are tons of quizzes made by teachers that they've just shared in this quiz bank. Every topic imaginable. They list the topic of the quiz, the grade level, um, sample questions, so you don't have to open each one and take a look at it. But I will say, honestly, there are so many quizzes in the quiz bank that by the time I find what I'm looking for, Socrative is so easy, I can make my own assessment in that much time. Units I've created in the past years that have different types of worksheets or um, any kind of assessment that goes along with I can take those papers and create a Socrative assessment. Now, my class is fifth grade, so you know they're just 10 years old, so per, I use mostly the true-false and multiple-choice options in Socrative. And I'm able to take these old units that I've created, take those handouts, turn it into either a true-false or multiple-choice question so that I get those quick comprehension, formative, let me just check in with everybody and see how you're doing kind of assessments. I can use these at the beginning of the class to review from the day before, and I can use them at the end of the class, sort of like an exit ticket. But here's something that's so fabulous about it. You can see the student responses in real time. Yes, real time. All I have to do is glance over at my monitor while they're taking the assessment and I can see, because it's color coded, everything the children are getting correct is in green and anything they're missing is highlighted in red. So as I glance over at my monitor, I can see, oh, is everybody missing number four? What was number four? Do I need to go over that one again? Or whatever the case may be. But I love that it's in real time, and I really love that it's student-paced and that at the end of the quiz, the children immediately know their score. So there's not a lot of what I get, what I get, what I get. Another element to Socrative.com is something they call the space race, and this is an element of Socrative that works like Kahoot. So you can create teams, and then there are questions, and then they can see 
the little rocket ships racing across the screen to see which team wins. So there is that element. If you use Socrative in the past, I hope you'll leave a comment down below and let me know which parts of it you like the best or um, how many classes you've created, any kind of feedback you can give, that would be most appreciated. And again, if you have found this video helpful, I hope you'll consider subscribing to the channel so you don't miss any future videos. Bye teachers.